Are you wondering what the best perks and skills are in the Hunter Call of the Wild? Don't worry, I got you covered. I got 600 hours into this game so far and I've got what works best for me. It might work out really well for you. Keep in mind I'm level 60 so I got everything you can get at this point. There is some slight deviations, we will talk about those, but let's just get into the actual info. I would advise you to start off in the stalker tree. Now, start with one in locate tracks and go for three in track knowledge. Once you have three in track knowledge, you go back and place another one in the locate tracks. And the track knowledge is actually a part of the sack tactics, which is by far the best way to find diamonds in this game. I will have a video about that linked up in the description below. You can check that out after this one. And when you have two in locate tracks and three in track knowledge, you go straight for soft feed. When you've used five skill points, you unlock tier two. Soft feed is probably one of the most crucial skills to have. It reduces the noise generated when moving through foliage such as grass and leaves and level 2 is the same just with larger vegetation such as bushes and shrubs. Once you have that 2 out of 2 you go and take connect the dots and go back and take the last point in locate tracks. And when you have unlocked tier 3 I would advise you to go and take improvised blind as the first one. Further decreases your visibility when inside bushes and shrubs. This helps so much when you're calling in animals with your callers. After that, I would go down and take endurance. All that walking has to be good for something, right? Increases your endurance so that your heart rate rises slower when moving and falls faster when idling. And last but not least, go for two out of two in innate triangulation. Now we're actually getting to a part where you might not agree with my choices. But I've gone for two out of two in this one just to make sure that I can get Disturbed Vegetation. Disturbed Vegetation reveals a new track type. It basically puts in a new track in the game for you, where you can get the time when the animal was there, just now, very fresh, fresh, and so on. And it reveals the fur variation of the animal. So this means if you stumble across an albino or something like that, you know it by checking that track. It is an additional track, so it helps tracking the animals as well. But this is my stalker tree. Let's get down to the ambusher one. The thing with the disturbed vegetation is that you're gonna have to give up this skill right here called Who's Deer. This thing actually helps you calling in animals that doesn't have a caller. For instance, the musk deer can be lured in with the elk caller if you have this skill. And the jackrabbits can be lured in with the grunt caller. And I am probably forgetting uh, some of them, but I like the disturbed vegetation more, I don't really hunt the species that doesn't have a caller except the bison and the cape buffalo, and I have no problems with the other ones. It doesn't really matter too much to me, but it might be a big deal for you. Now I've said it, you can do with it what you want. If it wasn't because of the sack tactics, I would have gone for 3 out of 3 in spotting knowledge. I didn't because of the sack tactics, watch the video below. But I've gone with 3 out of 4 in Scent Tinkerer, 1 out of 3 in Spotting Knowledge, and 1 out of 1 in The More The Merrier. Increases the monetary reward gained from completing any missions. Now, if you're a big fan of Scent, you can put it in any of the others. I don't use the Scents for anything at all in this game. But as soon as you spend 5 points, you get to Tier 2, and you get to get this one. Sight Spotting, which is a very cool skill. I'll show you just how it works in a bit. And then you have this one. Anyone can use a caller, but it takes a true artist to do well. Increases the chance of attracting animals to your location when using callers. And level two is having a chance of getting a vocal response from the animals if you have two out of two in Fatal Attraction. And this is how I've set it all up. I'm gonna show you how sight spotting works. I've brought my 243. No, that's not a 243, that's a 4570. But I can actually spot the animal without having my binoculars out. This is a cool thing so you're never losing track because you have to spot the animal first in your binos and then switch to your gun to then take a shot. That was a 470 and it didn't even go down, wow. <laughs> but you should die at some point I believe. But side spotting is a really cool skill and I highly advise you to try it out. But this also gives me the option to show you that other thing that I was talking about. The disturbed vegetation. It looks like this. It basically looks like a track eh, somewhat similar to a rest zone nearly. But if you press on it up in your top right hand corner you will have disturbed vegetation 
and see this one was a common and it's just now this means it's been here within the last six minutes and here is our moose let's harvest him and talk a little bit about the perks that i'm using as well that was actually a long shot and once again my placement of perks and such is said how i like them the only active perk that i have ever used and really do like to use is the zeroing perk but i've got pretty much everything in rifles except the windage the zeroing unlocks a short range zero and a long range zero for your weapons by default i am pretty sure it's set for 100 meters when you're looking down your scope if the animal is 100 meters out you're gonna hit bang on your scope but this way you get a 75 a 150 and a 300 with the regular rifles a 50 100 and 150 with the lever actions and a 25 50 75 with the handguns and with the bows it's 20 40 60. I've gone for pretty much everything that increases my rifles or my stability in general. In handguns I've gone for this. Unlocks the ability to reload weapons while running, that's a lifesaver. Not having to stop when you're chasing an animal, that's a godsend. And quick feed, recover a steady aim faster after changing stances when using handguns. I love to use my 454, hence why I've gone with this one. Shotguns, I've got one out of two in both eyes opens. This is only because you need it to <laughs> advance pretty much. Gone for a single one point in body control. I've gone for three out of three in recoil management. Less recoil when firing any weapon and able to fire follow up shots sooner. And fast shouldering increases the speed of entering and exiting aim mode using any weapon. Put a notice on any weapon guys. And in archery, I don't really use it much but I just had points to spare so this is what it looks like. I wouldn't advise you to go all the way down and try to get recycle and pumping iron money is not an issue and pumping iron it's just overkill the bows are plenty good as they are and the like a pro thing um i've tried it it's definitely not for me trying to shoot a bow while being prone but that's my skills that's my perks leave it in the comments if you have anything you disagree with or have other opinions on and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys thank you so much for watching